tzatziki made table side. Table side tzatziki is the Greek meets Mexico version of table side guacamole. Spit roasted meats on display. Something that catches your eye because you always see it turning and rotating on the charcoal. And a feast fit only for the gods. It may not seem like a lot, but by the time you're halfway through, you're contemplating life. You'd have to be crazy if you don't want to dine at Karasi. Located in Boston's Back Bay, Krasi is a sophisticated spot offering regional Greek cuisine from owner Dimitri Chalakis, inspired by his homeland. Regional Greek cuisine is not your average Greek food that you're gonna find in the tourist spots of Greece. You're gonna find these in Yaya's house, in Grandma's kitchen. It's stuff that you know I grew up with, and stuff that you know that's gonna give you a whole different take on Greek food. And when he brought on Chef Valentine Howell, he decided a trip to Greece was in order. I can't give you all the details of our trip. I mean, what didn't happen in Greece? You know, whatever happens in Greece stays in Greece. There was a lot of a lot of love, a lot of food, a lot of sightseeing, but mostly a lot of love. He was cooking with them, he was learning from them, and I think you know, that's what we try to do at Crusty is really give you that whole authentic, hospitable experience here. Since Krasi means wine in Greek, a glass is in order, paired perfectly with house-made breads and carefully selected charcuterie and Greek cheeses. We do three authentic breads that we bake and we pair with a homemade whipped Greek honey butter. And going into that, it's nice to start with some charcuterie that we do locally here with Greek recipes and a nice wide selection of imported cheeses from Greece. It's the perfect start. For a truly unique experience, table side tzatziki is something you should definitely try. Table side tzatziki is Grexico. It's Greece meets Mexico. It's our version of table-side guacamole done the Greek way. Everybody pretty much knows tzatziki, but I don't think everybody really knows what's in tzatziki. We use our base, the Greek yogurt, and on with the Greek yogurt, we're adding in you know, fresh dill, fresh cucumber, salt, pepper, white wine vinegar, and some really pure Greek olive oil. And that is then mashed up in front of you, mixed and given to you to taste, and once approved, it goes to the table. Once you've settled in, you'll want to pick from the selection of shareable plates. There are vegetarian options like butter beans with roasted tomatoes and crumbled feta, panko-crusted lemon potatoes paired with an oregano bernays. And for something you may have never tried, order these so-called little shoes. The little shoes actually mimic the shoes that the soldiers wear in Greece. So papoutsakia is an oven-roasted eggplant that's stuffed with seasonal mushrooms, topped with a grated mizithra cheese and bechamel sauce. It's the perfect Greek experience. You get the creamy bechamel. You get the kind of roasted, caramelized cheese over the top, and then you get the mushrooms, and then you get the really soft and supple eggplant. Seafood offerings include this stew loaded up with whatever is fresh in a spicy tomato broth and ouzo battered fried mussels. You have nice whole Prince Edward mussels that are sprayed with ouzo and then battered and then fried and topped over tarama with a mint oil. You taste the freshness of grease in that dish. Carnivores will want to check out what's on Chef Valentine's rotating spit, which changes daily. It's out there on display for everybody to see. The meat on the spit rolling around and dripping the fats and the fire just coming up and kissing it. It just gets people really excited. And you should certainly be psyched to try dishes like pork belly in a flavor-packed mustard and white wine sauce, traditional recipes like lamb asabuco, and the fricassee. Fricassee is grandma's specialty. It is baked chicken that's served with an avo lemono sauce and with sauteed spinach. I mean, it's chicken. Everybody knows chicken, but chicken can get really boring. This is not. The combination of the avgo lemon sauce with the spinach and the braising of the chicken, it just literally just falls off the bone. Again, it just reminds you of home. No matter where you're from, you could eat that dish and it reminds you of your grandmother or your mom and just makes you feel happy inside. And with one trip to Krasi, you too will feel elated and that's because of all the love they put into every dish. It's a very cliche thing to say, but it's so true because if you don't cook with the passion, the food won't come out right. It could look great, but if you don't don't have the love, it will show in your food.